Good morning, family. It is a beautiful day in Aruba. This is another edition of Dove's Fishing Journals, Pops Edit. And so I'm here with H2. Say hello, H2. And we are going out on a little half day here, see what we can catch. Uh, the captain said yesterday they came in and from the morning with uh, tuna and in the evening uh, afternoon they came in with a wahoo and some tuna so we're gonna go out for um, probably most likely trolling and we'll update you as we go so take a look Beautiful morning in Aruba. Talk with you later. Just doing a quick check in. We've been out about an hour. No bites yet. Uh, we're fishing with uh, jig heads and ballyhoo and uh, also bonita strips. So, but a uh, beautiful day, and we are headed out towards this um, non functioning oil rig, which normally they say there's some fish around there. So, again, we've been out about an hour, not much going on yet, but we have about six or seven lines in the water at various depths, uh, some on the surface, of course, looking for mahi-mahi, some a little deeper, uh, looking for wahoo and some other fish, so we'll check in with you when we get something on. Another one. Okay, fam, we got another one on. Pops gets to do this one. Another small one, but get the small ones out of the way. Maybe we'll get some bigger ones. We just turned around basically and came back across the same water that we had just finished. We'll get them in here in a second. Double header? of ocean fishing of course the plus is you get some beautiful fish different things than you're going to get most places stateside especially on lakes but the minuses are sometimes it takes a while to get to them we have um, kind of come up on this non-functioning rig here and we got our first hit going uh, from east to west along the right side and then we just turned around and came back west to east on that same side and we got two more fish in and so we turned around and 
went back on that same side from uh, east to west and didn't get any uh, bites. So what we did this time is when we came back from the west to the east, we came up on the left side um, for us um, and um, didn't actually get anything yet. So, so again, that's the, the downside of it sometimes. It takes a little while to get them, but we're gonna stay at it. Stay tuned. As we said, you wait, then they decide to hit. <laughs> so we got back on the, put the um, oil rig on the right side of us, passed it from east to west, and got another hit. So H H2 is up, so we're gonna see what he does. Look like he got a snack pack. He, he didn't get a two piece this time, but he got a little snack pack. Looks like another blue runner. Let's see what we're using now. Jerry gonna get a set back up again. We're gonna chill, probably turn around and go back the other direction. We still have hope that we're gonna look marlin or something a little bigger, but I'm always good for quantity when I can't get quality. Stay tuned. Okay, fam, we're heading away from the um, oil rigs now. Of course, we're, we're still trolling, and uh, Jerry threw some Balihu in for chumming. Um, H2 did, decided that wasn't enough, so he, he put in a little human chum. You okay with that, H2? I put some in there, too. Okay, he put some in there. They didn't bite it. They didn't bite it. He put some human chum in there. He feeling better now. But Jerry, Jerry got us going. Captain Roberto. We're on the Dorothy. If you guys get to Aruba, make sure you check them out. Good people. And whether whether we catch fish or not, we're having a great day. And we're passing this other rig here. You can see. So maybe we'll pop something real quick here. Okay. And I got to hold on so I don't become charm myself <laughs> but beautiful blue waters here in Aruba they say it's only 20 knots I don't know what a knot is but it's, it's got a little, little wind going here a little wind going here but again we're in the Ronda start of Aruba so you get this way make sure you check out Dorothy's fishing charter. Captain Roberto, first mate Jerry. And as we talk, we got a fish on. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass this over to H2. And when they're ready, I'm gonna keep the seat.
I'm good with quantity. Quantity is always good. Can't get quality. Quantity always works. That is kind of bigger. <laughs> oh, oh my, this jammed up here. Look at this. Here we Back in the driver's seat. <laughs> Maybe that chumming he did worked out. Lose it? 
We got him? Oh yeah, he's still there. That was a got a triple on triple rig on this one. Oh Jerry! <laughs> He's there. He's ah. <laughs> he hit it again. <laughs> so we got Captain Roberto out. Nobody's driving the boat, by the way, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. we, we can't run into anything. <laughs> but evidently, we, done, we found something out here. Just saw that one got hit twice. Oh, they took the head. They all all they left. left. <laughs> so. So, so now someone's driving the boat again. <laughs> okay, we're on the drop off in about 260 feet of water. Um, so we just hooked on. H2 lost his last one, so we're putting him back in the captain's seat. Not eating pork. So. I'm gonna go try to get him to cook by eating. 
of watching Dub's Fishing Journal. Bang, bang. Some of the other boats did pretty good. We're gonna go down and check out this last one that just came in. Looked like they put a herding on them. Okay, fam, the next thing we do after you get your catch is sometimes you can find local restaurants that will cook it up for you. So we have reservations at Driftwood Aruba, and they are going to cook our catch. And so we're going to go there tonight and dine on this food. So see you soon. Okay, fam, that's what everything looks like. We got the runners, uh, the blue runners at the top, fried whole. We have the rainbow runners uh, grilled and fried, and we have the tuna grilled and blackened. And then you have a choice, of course, of you got vegetables, and you can do rice, or you can also do baked potatoes so it all looks good and they have of course tartar sauce and all kinds of sauces creole sauce garlic sauce so we're gonna get into this and bon appetit thank you for watching dubs fishing journal get your line wet